Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is an I Love Mermaids and Unicorns reading for May 13th, 2020. I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destiny. These readings they may or may not resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Somebody out there might find them uh, entertaining. Also to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. So, yes, I love mermaids and unicorns. We like to keep a true love energy around here, happy, friendly, and loving types. Nothing to fear because we are calm and we are cheerful, right? So we're trying to find out what the mermaids and the unicorns have to say about our lives presently for the general, uh, this is a general reading, right? General public, I guess, <laughs> right? Um, these cards are pre-shuffled. I'm going to go ahead. These are two decks put together. These are two, um, what do you call it? Um, just poker playing decks. I thought they were cute. Found them in the toy section, in the little girls toy section. <laughs> And they've been working. They've been working out pretty darn good. So we're going to continue with them. I have been. They seem to be giving really good readings. Okay, so general energy for the Isle of Unicorns and Mermaids. <laughs> Whichever way you want to say it. All right, we have the Ten of Pentacles. All right, Ten of Pentacles energy. We always like that shit, right? It's security, right? Security over risk. Enjoyment of wealth, right? Yes. Let's find out what is going on. This is the general energy. So everybody feeling wealthy or what? Feeling like money's going to roll in? Shit. <laughs> roll it this way. Shoot. <laughs> All right. So we're going to find out. Okay. We're, we're going to find out. Let me, let me think. <clears throat> we're going to find out, of course, what's going on between, um, us, right? What's going on between us, as in you and them, right? So maybe you're thinking about somebody that you consider you and this person as in us, right? Maybe you're in separation, you still consider them uh, with you as an us, right? So let's find out. <clears throat> let's find out how do they feel about you? Or how, how do you, sorry, how do you, how do you, or how are the feeling, how are their feelings, right, in regards to, you know, you two? How do they feel about you two? How do they feel about you two? How do they feel about you two? Okay. They're feeling a little defensive, <laughs> whatever's going on between you two. This is a seven, this is a seven of wands, right? And this is about, um, this is about a struggle, a struggle to stay ahead possibly, right? Maybe they're trying to um, take care of personal financial issues or something um, in their lives. Um, there could be some competition, but there is a struggle to, to stay ahead of whatever there, it is that they're trying to deal with, right? See how you feel. How do you feel? How do you feel about you two? How do you feel? How do you feel about you two? Three of Swords. So you're feeling like possibly there's another person involved in this situation. You know, you could be feeling like they have something or someone, I mean, right? And, um... You could be moving, you could be moving beyond sorrow though. You could be understanding your feelings in some, some ways, right? Um, 
you could be a, 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 a person who's a little jealous, right? Uh, maybe you need to know things that are going on, and when you don't, your mind just starts going. You know, you could be um, a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Those are the signs that um, are deal with mental, you know, mental things, right? Mental health. So you might let your mind wander all over the place. You don't know what's going on. You're just tripping, right? <clears throat> Let's find out what is the relationship potential between you and, oh, wow, okay, well, five of pentacles, feeling left out in the cold, right? That's what that is. Somebody, you know, y'all are feeling, you know, left out in the cold, but, you know, this card also, you guys, This card is also the Hierophant, right? And this is about tradition, spiritual authority, right? Deception also can be, right? This is also about um, coming together, signing contracts, you know? So your relationship potential is, it can either be one of two things, right? And that depends on the mindset of both of the individuals. They're going to have to, whether it's you or them, get out of this sort of, um, like, a, of a lack mentality, right? And I'm not talking about just lack uh, financially, but I'm also talking about emotionally, knowing that you can receive the, the ultimate love. You know, maybe you prayed for this or wished for it when you were younger. But this can go up one of either two ways. It can go you know, towards marriage and happiness union of hearts, right? Or it could be, you know, somebody could be feeling left out and cold. That's what I'm 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 feeling at this present that that you or the other person is feeling left out and cold, right? <clears throat> you know, I want to go ahead and clarify this 7 of of, of wands, right? And I want to know what is their struggle? What is their struggle? Actually, no, let me get out two more cards. For, let me get advice and the likely outcome here first, right? Let me get advice first. Let me get advice. Let me get advice about this situation. What's the advice here? What's the advice for these two? What is the advice? That was like a fumble, you know, a hand fumble. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't like, take them out. No. That was like a hand fumble. Okay, you guys. It's because I don't want to be flipping cards all far and all over the place. I'm trying not to shuffle so crazy, all crazy style, you know, because they'll come out if they need to. So the advice, okay, okay, so you guys might be feeling that this is all not going to happen. You might be feeling five of pentacles, right? You might be feeling that way, left out in the cold. But I'm going to tell you right now, spirit is saying it's not the five of pentacles left out in the cold. It's the hierophant. It's, the, it's about marriage and union and coming together. And the reason why I know that is because the advice is for you to hold on. Hold on to this. Hold on to whatever is happening here, you know. Don't let go of this. Because, you know, this is, this is possibly something that's really intense, you know. Let's see what the likely outcome is. What is the likely outcome for these two? What is the likely outcome for these two? 
What is the likely outcome for these two? Those were like more than one. I just need one card. Tell me what the likely outcome between these two people are. What is the likely outcome, Spirit? Angels, Ancestors. God, Universe, Angels, Ancestors, Spirit. All of the above. What is the likely outcome for these two? What is the likely outcome for these two? <clears throat> Likely outcome for these two. <laughs> They're being tough on me right now. Likely outcome for these two. Likely outcome for these two. There it is. <clears throat> and you know what? I'm going to tell you something before I put... Uh, be or when I put this card down, I was thinking, wow, they're all mermaids talking here, right? But I think it's time for now the unicorn to talk. And the unicorn is saying, ooh, ten of wands. Wow. Okay, yeah, we're going to have to do some clarifying. The likely outcome is this is going to be a burden, right? You know, I'm thinking it's going to be a burden because of the information that will be shared that's what I'm feeling like here. I'm feeling like the information shared between these two or whatever this, what's, whatever is going to come out is going to be like a super burden. And it all depends on whether or not who's on the receiving end, who, if you're going to accept these burdens and move forward with this person because, you know. Love is a, a very powerful thing, you know? When you really love somebody, you take on their burdens because you love them that much, right? Somebody comes along, whoa, their credit score is crazy. <laughs> but you're like, you know what? I love them, and I'm going to help them, and we're going to build that shit up together, and we're going to prosper, right, together, right? Maybe you're dealing with somebody who doesn't really know how to take care of themselves. Maybe the burden is like, you know, having to teach an individual how to live normal life. You know, maybe they've been spoiled their whole life or have never really shown how to take care of themselves. Perhaps they've been dependent on others, hoping that they're just going to be taking care of whoever, be taken care of by whoever, whenever. And, and you know, that's not... That's not reality, you guys. I'm telling you, it's really not. So let's go ahead and let's find out <clears throat> why is this seven of wands here, right? Why is this seven of wands here? So they're thinking, they're thinking of a queen of swords. And this is a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Right, and this Queen of Swords, you know, she is, I mean, she's friggin' smart, she knows what's up, right? She knows what's going on. This is who they're thinking about. Look, write your secrets in the sand and trust them with a mermaid. <laughs> okay, <laughs> whatever that means. But it's cute, you guys, right? Oh, it could be, possibly. Maybe this person is willing to trust or ready to trust a Queen of Swords because they feel, or maybe they're, you know, the Queen of Swords is about strategy, right? Intelligence, ambition. Queen of Swords is very, very ambitious. You know, she, she plans shit out and she goes for it, you know, or at least she plans it out, thinks about it, ponders on it, and then she goes for it. You know, I mean, whatever process she makes, she eventually goes for it. 
right? So you could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, female energy, male or female, 3D. But uh, you could be very calculating. You know, you could think, okay, what am I going to be in like a year? What do I want to be? What do I want to do? Okay, how long is this lease for? You know, how long do I have to plan? Blah, 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 right? So they are thinking about this energy, this Queen of Swords energy. What else do you have with that? Yeah. This, they can't stop thinking, actually, about this, this Queen of Swords energy, right? They're, they're, they can't stop thinking of her. And it's all, it's, you know, it's all due to, you know, the struggle that they're having. So they have some sort of struggle within themselves. They keep thinking about this person. They want to go possibly and speak to this person and clear something up because it's causing them sleepless nights. Like they can't, they just can't, you know, they can't function, I guess. <clears throat> Let me get one more card for that Seven of Wands. Let me see if anything else comes out for that Seven of Wands. Anything else? Anything else for that Seven of Wands? I guess so. I see two cards. I'll take it. Let's see. So, Four of Wands. Yeah. But somebody's getting tired here, you guys. Somebody's getting tired here. It might be that Queen. Unicorns are awesome. I am awesome. Therefore, I am a unicorn. <laughs> Look at that. Somebody's getting tired of waiting. I think it's it's actually this uh, queen of it's actually this queen of swords. I'm just getting tired of this, but I do see a message. Uh, somebody is going to send a message to her. It's, it looks like it's going to be you because. I mean, them, because um, they are thinking about a queen of swords. They want to fight for this one more time, right? They have hope and faith in this. Uh, they might come in passionately, right? I mean, they're coming, uh, they're, they're already in the, the wands energy with that seven of wands, right? They're already in that energy and they're, you know, they're vigilant though. You know, they're, 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 they're going to keep trying. They're going to keep trying or they're going to keep doing something in this situation because there's some passion here. Somebody wants to come with passion, right? <clears throat> let's see, let's see a little bit more about how you feel. With this Three of Swords energy, right? Three of Swords, indecisions, you know, being involved in something else. But it doesn't have to be romantic. Like I said, it could be family related. It could be, somebody could be addicted to something. And this is the third sword that's causing a problem in the relationship, right? Something like that. There could be some sort of addictions to anything, right? It could be in another relationship. It could be that. It could be meddling family members. Why is this Three of Swords here oh, for, uh, for the viewer? Why is this Three of Swords here for the viewer? Why is the Three of Swords here for the viewer? Okay, we have the Eight of Swords. So somebody definitely um, feeling trapped in a situation. Okay, they could be... Hmm. Somebody could be feeling trapped in a marriage, trapped in their uh, sub uh, you know, mental conflict, right? Uh, or somebody could be uh, in jail or something like that, or in prison or got in trouble. I don't know, but I do see that there's going to be some truth coming out here, right? <clears throat> there could be some truth coming out about a three-party situation in regards to you, right? You know, 
You're, you might be thinking, these are the things that you could be thinking about them. Is that, is that, are they in jail? Is there a three-party situation? Um, am I going to get the truth? Right? This is what you are thinking or you are, are, are pondering or wondering about, right? When it comes to you. What else do we have for the Spear of Swords? Because maybe, you know, there are all those possibilities. Those are, you know, they're all possibilities, right? Maybe you're, okay, okay, maybe you are that queen of swords, right? Because you might be overthinking with all these possibilities that you're putting through your head, right? Oh, are they with somebody else? Oh, did they go to jail? Oh, are they going to send me a message? So you're, you're thinking about a lot of stuff here. Yeah, look at that. Three of Cups. You're still thinking that there might be another situation going on here. Third party. Right? Um, you may receive message that there's a third party. You know, because with that Knight of, of Swords there, that's, that's somebody receiving a message. Right? Or sending out a message. This person could also be thinking this about you. Yeah, look it. Here he is, a king of pentacles. So he's he's thinking this maybe about you too. You know, or you're thinking this way about him. Rainbows and mermaids are proof that imagination and beauty go hand in hand. What about unicorns and mermaids, right? They, I should switch that up. <laughs> right? So this is what I see here. I think you're both, you know, you and them could be worried about these things, you know, uh, with each other. But look at the overall energy there. It's the Ten of Pentacles, you guys. Look. You know, you cannot find or ever have success without struggle. I swear, you guys, everybody, oh, you can make this much, and all you got to do is sit at home and do, you know, internet. You know, no, okay, maybe for some people, maybe people got some people got their luck, their luck like that. Maybe their stars have aligned in the perfect position for them, and they are able to receive that kind of shit, right? But some of us... Some of us will have to have gone through a little bit of struggle, right, to get through our lives because perhaps dealing with extra karmas from past lives, whatever, right? It ain't, it ain't all rainbows and peaches and creams for everybody. But I do believe that those that do struggle the most will be rewarded. I totally feel that. Okay? So at present, we're dealing with the Queen of Pentacles, or the Queen of Swords and the King of Pentacles. Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So these are the signs that you and your person have in your chart. So <clears throat> let's continue here with uh, this Five of Pentacles. What's going on with this Five of Pentacles? Uh, this is the relationship potential. What? Oh, geez. All right. All right, as I said it, right? Okay, you guys, don't freak out. No, I'm just kidding. Here is the relationship potential. We have the Four of Wands. This is marriage. This is the marriage card. This person, the, you two, whoever you two are, you're soulmates. Okay, this is your soulmate. This is your 1111. This is your twin flame energy. This is seven of swords also. Damn, deception, right? There's been some deception, right? There was deception involved in your marriage or relationship possibly. Look at that. But it's no longer a burden. Look, you fixed it. Something happened, but there was a burden in this relationship. Maybe the two people healed from this. Maybe you both healed from this. 
or you will heal from it, from the deception. Right? You're going to put it behind you. So this is spirit just reminding us that that five of pentacles is not being left out in the cold. It's not. Because that four of wands is right there. That soulmate, twin flame kind of energy. This is marriage. The five of pentacles is the hairpin. And somebody could have been deceptive in a marriage or in a relationship. And they're letting go of the deception that has taken place. They're no longer going to deal with deception. What else is this Hierophant card here for? What else is this Hierophant card here for? What else is the Hierophant card here for? Is this too many? What else is this Hierophant card here for? Huh. This is going to be a relationship that's going to be equal give and take. This is the relationship potential between the two of you, all right? Somebody is, is married, was in a relationship where there was deception. Somebody decided to release this burden and move towards somewhere that's going to bring them equal give and take, okay? Now, somebody ended a relationship. It doesn't have to be a marriage, though, okay? It could be a marriage. Or it could just be some sort of union or some contract or something. Somebody might have gotten out of a written contract, quit a job, or decided not to hang out with certain family members because they're toxic, whatever, right? Something like that. So <clears throat> let's find out what this Four of Pentacles is here. Why is this Four of Pentacles here? Why is this Four of Pentacles here? For the I Love Unicorns and Mermaids reading. I love mermaids and unicorns, or, you know, whichever way you prefer. You know, Ten of Pentacles, though. Whoa! <laughs> Look at that. This is your advice. Don't give up. Hang on to this, because, look, this is wish fulfillment. <clears throat> Don't we like that shit, wish fulfillment? I mean, for a little bit, right? For a while we did, a little while. But you know what we ultimately want, right? <clears throat> Why else do we need to hang on to this wish fulfillment? Why else do we need to hang on? Why else do we need to hang on? Why else? Whoa. Why else do we need to hang on here? <clears throat> Why else do we need to hang on? Oh, whoops. Mm, make a wish upon a starfish. We have the Joker card, Kate. This is like an um, unknown card, right? Why is that Joker card there? Why is that Joker card there? Like spirit trying to hold back some information, right? Like somebody trying to hold back. Doesn't want to tell us a secret, doesn't want to tell us the next step, doesn't want to, wants us to possibly come into our own power instead of tripping out in our heads on our own, right? Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so <clears throat> somebody's not saying something about something. Somebody may be trying to play games, right? But I do see the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. I do see that one of these people is not playing games anymore. The advice here, stop playing games. Right? Stop playing games. Stop playing games. Whoever is playing games, you need to stop. Look, there's going to be a message of passion coming into somebody. If you keep on playing those games... You're only going to get to wish fulfillment, right? But the general energy here is financial security and stability. 
Haven't seen that Ten of Cups yet. Seen the Ten of the Ten of uh, Wands twice. Two burdens here, right? And I see the Ten of Pentacles. Financial stability. That's what that's what the ultimate goal here is, right? But is this going to be a burden? What is this Ten of Wands here? What is this likely outcome Ten of Wands? What is this likely outcome Ten of Wands? What is this likely outcome Ten of Wands? Five of Swords in the reverse. Maybe some truth coming in. Somebody finally telling the truth about something and that's what's going to make it a burden. Right? Whatever this truth is. Somebody coming out of the closet. Somebody having children. Somebody being married. Um, somebody had just got a divorce. Uh, they were married the whole time you were together, having another secret family. Some, I mean, it could be anything, you guys. It could be anything. All right. Why is uh, this Ten of Wands here? Why is this? All right. Well, there's no more Three of Swords going on. No more three party, right? The likely outcome is there won't be a third party anymore. And somebody will stop being in their head. So there's going to be some truth coming out here, right? Yeah, five and five change. You see that? Yep. Uh, let me get one final card. Let me get one final card here and see what's going on. Final card. What's the final card here? For the I love mermaids and unicorns. Reading your I love unicorns and mermaids. Something like that, right? I just need one more card. That's it, please. Can I get one more card? Oh, thank you. Okay, so I have the Six of Swords. So the likely outcome here. Okay, you guys, what the likely outcome here is that um, there is a burden coming your way, and it's in regards to um, some lies, and somebody is going to come clean about this situation. Um, and... They're going to tell you that there was a third party, but there's not any more, right? And they don't want to be, you know, they're tired of being stuck in their head about this whole situation, right? So maybe they they have been separated for a bit or, they, or they're separating right now and, and they're just going to, they're trying to get out of their head about all this. But I do see that somebody is going to move towards another person, all right? <clears throat> somebody's going to move towards another person. They're not going to be in a three-party situation. They are coming to tell the truth possibly about a burden that has happened with them. Let's see what's at the bottom. Yep. The bottom of the deck, we have a two of uh, swords. So that's telling me that one person coming back, they're going to talk to this person, and what, what somebody's going to need to make a choice. One person's coming with truth, the other person needs to make a choice. This is what's going on with these, there's these two energies here, basically. And we're talking about a queen of swords and a king of pentacles. All right, so I guess it would be up to the queen of Swords on whether or not this Ten of Pentacles will come to fruition. Maybe she has to make the choice over the fact that if I stay, will I lose the Ten of Pentacles? Or if I go, will I lose the Ten of Pentacles? Should I accept this apology? Should I accept this truth? Should I accept whatever, right? I do feel, to be quite honest though, whichever she chooses, female energy, queen of swords, she's going to be successful either way. I think this that comes in needs to be a head-over-heart decision. 
because you know the queen of the queen of swords always in her head always it's time to put that down it's time to put that down and start using your heart you know because maybe maybe you got some closed heart chakra right maybe you're like no to everyone and you know the likely outcome yes it's a burden but just know it's coming towards you <laughs> And this person is not going to lie to you, and they're not going to be in a three-party situation. But they're going to come tell you the truth, and it might be harsh. And you might be thinking, fuck, how am I going to deal with this now? But if spirit's on your side, you're going to be able to make the right choice, right? So let's go ahead and see what kind of lessons we have here. I'm going to pull two cards, right? I'm going to pull two cards. One for the Queen of Swords and one for the King of Pentacles. Just cause that's who I see here and these cards are for you too, okay? Now, you know which one is you and you know which one is them, right? So you gotta place your story that way, right? All right, so I'm gonna get an extra, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna let these, I'm just gonna let these fly out as they may. They, these are pre-shuffled, but I'm um, just, uh, just gonna see what flies out. I've never done a, like a flying out for these. I usually just pull them, but I'm feeling like I need to shuffle them, so <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. One of them's gonna fly out. I think this is for oh, this is for the Queen of Sword, uh, Queen of Swords. <laughs> this is for the Queen of Swords. What do we got for the Queen of Swords? Okay. Wow. Love. <laughs> Guys. What do we got for the King of Pentacles? What do we got for the... You like how when I call out, this is for this, this is for that, and they fly out right out, right? Look. Oh, my God, you guys. This is the the, the friggin' reading right here. Did I... We just explained this whole thing, and here it is in cards, right? Queen of Swords. She's going to have to make a, a, a heart overhead decision. Didn't we just say she needs to think from her heart space and how she feels in terms of love? I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. So this person's going to come back. And because you're dealing with a queen of swords, you might even be dealing with a Libra. That queen of swords, is she's all about balance, you know. And she probably will not turn her back on whoever this is because that's the type of person that she is. She's fair, she's balanced, and she's understanding. You know, this could be an empress, I don't know, possibly. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. She might actually be like, okay, well, all this happened and all that happened. But you know what? Hey, let's look at the bright side of things. At least we're here and at least we're alive and at least we're together now. You know, she might think like that. She might be that person. And I'm willing to bet that she is. Okay? Um, somebody who's very balanced, you know? Now, when it comes to this king of pentacles, Taurus Royal Capricorn, <clears throat> I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. So, okay, okay. So with this, you might have thought in the past that whatever is for you is for you, and that's the way it is. You come first. No, but so you could be a Capricorn. Because <laughs> a lot of Capricorns are like that. They're like, oh no, me first, me first. No, I'm the one. I'm the boss. I'm important here. I'm the best. You know, this is this is like Capricorn. It's like a big ego kind of, you know. So I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. So if you do return, King, to this queen, you're going to need to understand that People's paths are their own paths. If you interact with somebody and they're doing something wild or they're whatever, it's not your place to say, that's stupid, we're going to do my thing instead. No. Everybody has their own path. And 
has this person ever told you that where you're going or your ideas have been stupid? You know, think about that in the past, right? Did you say this to them? Did they say this to you? Who told this to you? I doubt that it was the Queen of Swords, though, because the Queen of Swords is very uplifting and tries to balance things out and see the good in, in everything, balance good and bad, right? She ju places judgment on others, right? Especially if it's a Libra, I'm telling you. Because the Libra understands that everybody's got their own thing going on, you know? She understands that because she has her own thing going on. All right? So, I don't know, you guys. Tell me if this resonated. Um, what I'm hearing right now is love is going to make judgment on this situation. And if you can keep that vibration of love real high, the judgment will work out into your favor. True love energy, you guys. I'm all about that shit right here, right? Happy, friendly, and loving. And nothing to fear because we are calm and cheerful. That's all we can be. Especially during now. It's so burnt out and boring over here. Can't go anywhere. Can't do anything. But like I was doing much uh, before anyways. But, you know. Whatever. You know? So I hope you enjoyed that reading. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share, you guys. Because these not, are not going to get out. Unless you guys like and share and subscribe and all that good fun stuff, right? I guess you can hit that notification bell button too and it'll tell you when I got some kind of crazy reading coming out. Or I don't know. They're not that crazy. I think they're kind of mellow. So, all right, you guys. Um, thanks for coming by. I'm Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.